Vast progress, a huge number of votes accumulated for the Yes campaign. But the simple truth of it is, as people are waking up now, is there were people in this country, there were people throughout the United Kingdom, who thought everything was going to change. It hasn't. The people of Scotland have voted to stay in the United Kingdom as it is. Let me introduce my new guests, because you've been waiting very patiently. And good morning to you both. Uh, jo Swinson, um, the Lib Dem MP for Eastern Bartonshire, uh, Minister of Employment, Relations and Women and Equalities. And Joe Fitzpatrick is with us from the SNP, um, the MSP for Dundee City West. Thanks very much for coming in. Um, it is coming up to six o'clock here on uh, BBC One and uh, you're watching this BBC referendum special from Glasgow and the BBC is forecasting now very firmly that uh, this is a no vote in the independence referendum. Uh, Joe, your response to it? Well, I'm delighted that we look like we're having a, a no vote uh, across Scotland. Obviously, final results still to come in. Uh, my own area of Eastern Bartonshire very strongly voted no and I think also had the highest turnout in the country. So uh, from a, a personal perspective, that is, uh, that, that is you know, particularly good. And I think actually the engagement that the public have, uh, have displayed with this uh, debate, I mean, seeing turnouts of, uh, you know, of, uh, in the 80% in, in a lot of areas of the country uh, has actually been something which uh, I think all sides can welcome and actually means that we've got a really uh, sort of good base to move forward because everybody can say well look Scotland has had its say people really have expressed what they think and then we can move forward and I hope try to make sure that we do that together using the passion on both sides of the argument because we do all want to see the best future for Scotland. Joe when Mr Cameron speaks later I mean well, Mr Salmond will too but when Mr Cameron does um, what does he need to say? in order to convince you that change is on its way? I think we'll be, we'll be listening very carefully to what he does say um, and then we'll obviously, as, as a, a team approach, the, 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 the SNP government always operates as a team. We'll obviously make a decision on that thereafter. But Joe's right. Um, the energy of this campaign, the enthusiasm of voters on both sides getting involved in politics for the first time, um, you know, the number of people who have registered for the first time. In my city, Dundee, where there was a, a, a good yes vote, um, there were 8,000 new people went on to the register for the first time ever. And that, that's something that, as, as Joe said, we, we should make sure that we catch and, and, and hold on to as, as we move Scotland forward. I think we're quite close to a very important moment, the moment where um, the No campaign will reach its target. And I think it's going to do that in Fife, which is Gordon Brown's own area. I mean, it's other people's area too, but Gordon Brown has his... Uh, constituency there. Um, let's have a look at uh, the uh, Declaration Hall in, uh, in Fife. And uh, they'll be getting ready soon. I think we should stay on these images now for a while because if we get the Declaration, I think it will be the Declaration that uh, takes us over the finishing line. And um, just, Sarah, underline for us the makeup here. Now we've been watching the BBC's coverage of Scotland's independence referendum. We are going to leave it here. As the Associated Press is reporting, early results suggest voters are not in favour of leaving the UK. The referendum that saw unprecedented numbers of voters come out to the polls. The biggest city in Scotland, Glasgow, among a few of those that did vote yes. There are still three of 32 regional centres that are counting their votes, but the no side so far has about 55% of the vote to 45% for the yes campaign. Coming up on C-SPAN, Secretary of State...